This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites to online stores and even marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace has got you covered. 7.21am in the morning. Two in the freezer, one for now. It's really hard to do with one hand actually. Blunt scissors, it's going well. Do you want a towel for that or you got one there? Enjoy. So welcome back to the Friday vlog series where today you'll see little Ruby. She's picked up a bug from school. Don't worry, it's not the uh, coronavirus. There's a bug going around the school. She hasn't eaten for about 24 hours. So this morning she woke up and the only thing she felt like was a lemonade icy pole. We're sensible parents. We don't normally do that at that time of the morning, but uh, she got one of those into her just to get a little bit of energy back. But in today's video, we'll split it into two parts as per normal. Part number one, Got a couple of design options for the wind space and I'm keen to get your thoughts. Choose the right design before we lock this thing in to get painted. Number two, what's been going on behind the scenes. So before we get into point number one, I wanted to preface this video with saying, I don't think I've done a good enough job with setting expectations with many new subscribers and new supporters to the channel about what actually happens here on a Friday. Here he is, Captain Waffler. Get to the point, mate. And the reason why I say this is last week I published a video SRAM versus Shimano, why I choose SRAM. And it was interesting, I was essentially responding to lots of questions I was getting from channel supporters in that video, and that's why I created it. But just before publishing it, I realized that this is gonna hit a lot of people, and the Friday vlog series, I tell personal stories. It's not necessarily a sit-down tech show. So I wanted to inform you, if you're new to the channel, or if you're thinking about subscribing, what actually happens on a Friday is we keep it casual it's kind of random family stuff kind of like this so we're out for breakfast the other day and my two girls drew a little picture of daddy what do you reckon we're jumping in the pool yeah are you ready holly oh my god everybody's ready <laughs> we're messing about and also we're talking about bikes but it's a lot more laid back casual having a bit of a laugh cycling family all that kind of stuff if you're up for more of the sit down talking about tech, products, etc. That happens on a Wednesday. So I just wanted you to know that before we get in to this Friday vlog series. So check this out. This is like, it's like a booby trap for getting into my house. The gate is gonna swing back in my face. Someone's put a chair on the other side of this gate. So it's hard to open it and I've got to go down these stairs. Okay. And I'm trying to hold a camera now as well. This gate's trying to swing back. <laughs> oh shit. See, there's the, there's the chairs right there, so I can't even open the gate properly, and just swings back. Go, mate. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Now you're ca you're causing the final booby trap. Let me get the bike in. Gary. Yes. Technical. Tell me, mate. And then maybe come back the next day for painting or something, and then. Okay, so I've just got off the phone with Gary from Carbon Steed. Him and his team are going to be painting this bike in the next week or two, and he's given me a bit of an education about the process, which I wasn't overly familiar with. So I'll explain to you shortly what that's gonna look like. And also there's two options that we have to paint this bike. I'm keen to get your thoughts I'm about to show you here. But before I show you those options, I just wanna thank today's video sponsor being Squarespace. If we actually have a look at my wife's website here, which was built just recently, it's on a Squarespace platform and you can see how clean, simple, yet intuitive it is. And my wife, who's a non-techie, personally loves how easy it is to go into the back end, alter text, layouts, color schemes, etc., without needing any development skills. If you're keen to get a website off the ground, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com backslash camnickels to save 10%. See all the relevant details below in the video description area. So get a good look at it. This is the last time we'll see the wind space. My wind space anyway looking like this. We have two options that I'm keen to share with you, keen to get your thoughts on. So let's have a little look here. So you can see the first option is a white and black option. And essentially I've done two things. We've changed the Winspace logo back to their original logo, which is much, much better in my opinion. And we've added some personal touches, that being a coaching business I started in 2009, being the RCA or the Road Cycling Academy. Originally, I tried the Road Cycling Academy on the down tube, but it didn't look great. There was just too many letters, and 
I kind of like honoring the Winspace logo with some personal touches to it. The next option is red. I was aiming for like a Ferrari red, but this red might be a little bit off a Ferrari red to be honest, but I am personally drawn irrespective to the white and black over the red. White and black versus red. White and black versus red. What do you think? Keen to get your thoughts below, and I just wanted to thank Joe and the Winspace team for doing me a little special favor here with these design jobs. Just know that Winspace once did offer design services, but because they're so busy and under the pump in a good way at the moment, they're not offering these services, but they are happy to provide any vector files, etc., to help people with custom paint jobs. Now the process with Gary and his team from Carbon Steed, it's gonna be a three day process. It's not gonna take three days to strip and repaint this, but it's done over three days. So I need to find a way to be able to be in Brisbane to film the process of the sanding, the painting, and then the finishing. So I'm hopeful of being able to do that next week, given family and life logistics, if not the following week at the latest. Now just know that Gary and his team, they don't just offer bike painting, they also offer carbon fiber repair. They might need to repair that after that ding. And as a result, they're well versed in all things carbon fiber. So Gary is gonna provide his thoughts, general thoughts after he does a bit of an overview of the frame once it's been sanded back. And then we have Raul Lucia from Lucia Technic doing the full inspection. I'm yet to confirm an exact date, I'm trying hard. Raul's been very busy, but it's either gonna be mid to late March. We'll have this thing painted, then we can finally get it built up. I know some people are getting impatient and so am I, but we're doing this thing the right way, taking through all the necessary steps so we can get to the end of the process and we've got a pretty cool story to share. So if you're excited about the paint job, the inspection, make sure you give the video a like. And if you're yet to subscribe and you're keen to see all these videos, make sure you do it below, hit the bell to ensure you get notified of when videos go live. And let's go to part two of this video. I'm filming you taking photos of <laughs> our herbs. This is good content. So what's been going on behind your scenes, Alice? Behind my scenes. Behind my scenes. So Alice was surfing and the surfboard smashed her in the face and she had a massive egg on her cheek. I've got a video actually you can share with I've got a video? Yeah, I do oh, have a video. People can see it, okay. okay. <laughs> Whatever Ruby has got, it's in my system, and I haven't eaten all day as a result. I find if I fast when I'm feeling a bit crook, it's a good opportunity for my body to fight whatever is in the system, as opposed to piling food in. So I'm fasting today, feeling a bit lightheaded and weird, and hopefully I don't get sick. And Rossi's eating some, what's it, Rossi eating? Oh, he's eating some broth the meat. The spoils of bone broth. The spoils? Yeah. The spoils of bone broth. Bone broth. <laughs> I can't even no, talk about What's been going on behind the scenes? Well, I've also got this frame here. So we're narrowed in on SRAM access ETAP. So I am hopeful I'll have that group set within the next week. And there's a bike shop in Brisbane that have put their hands up awesome to get this thing built up. So hopefully within two weeks as well, this thing will be built and ready to go. So what are we doing here? This is vegan friendly. <laughs> Wait till you see the layer of fat that's gonna come up to the surface. So this, this would have been about five liters of water. Mm. And so over the 48 hours, this has leached all of the collagen and minerals out of the bone. And it's gonna be so nourishing for us. It's wow. like the mother nature superfood. What else? I can't think. <laughs> I'll just catch you in the next video.